Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Holy moly. If 
you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking.
Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I 
I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. There's always something interesting going on, but the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Be careful out there. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Another satisfied customer. Be careful out there. Hey, partner, might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. 
I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! <laughs>